this of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. So who or what will make the difference? Part two of this cliffhanger semi-final, each as desperate as the other. Well, I'm inclined to think that while home advantage will certainly play a factor, I don't see that as a, a crucial advantage. Increasingly so these days with so many teams setting up to play on the break, but this one is quite difficult to call. So oh, what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. The most slender of advantages to the home side. I wonder whether psychologically, Jim, that might make the difference. Well, I'm inclined to think that while home advantage will certainly play a factor, I don't see that as a, a crucial advantage. Increasingly so these days with so many teams setting up to play on the break, but this one is quite difficult to call. Things have got on the way here pretty promptly. That's gone a long way up and away. And now they can launch a counter. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. And it's played forward. Vinicius Junior gets the better of his man. And he's whipped it in low. That's the throw. Forward pass, Alaba gets into the right position to intercept. Back to the keeper and try something new. Vinicius Junior. Vinicius Junior! Things have been frenetic in the early part of this game. A lot of action high up the pitch. Quick glance, oh, shooting chance! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Massive leap! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Trost plays it forward. Just brushed off the ball there. He's good for it! Madrid, and they have an aggregate lead. Real Madrid are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki Taka at its very best, and they back it up with goals. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. 
Ruben Diaz. Good spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. Forward it goes. Tony Kroos. Benzema. De Bruyne. And the counter is on. Stones plays it forward. And it's De Bruyne. Oh, what a ball! Hits one! It's bounced out! And it's there! Parity restored, and the whole thing shifts once more. De Bruyne at his razor-sharp best there. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. It's Benzema! And here's the chance to counter. He's got options out wide. That is terrific skill. And that's been won straight back. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Valverde with a definite foul there. And he has shown him a yellow card. And it's hoisted clear. Throws it out of harm's way. Bit of an appeal, but nothing doing. Decent looking ball. Receives it in a good position. Chance! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. Benzema, Vinicius Junior, good take and he's had a look, big chance, what a wonderful goal! So we have a breakthrough, now how will things develop from here? He's just gone and reminded us yet again of what a threat he carries. And it's Mares. now it's De Bruyne. Now it's Grealish. A real chance to break.
It's the through ball. He's had Benzema! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Knocks it away. Has a pop! Half time in the semi final. So, a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, the next one will be pretty crucial. So, it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. Well, we've had plenty to go at in that first half, Peter, and it's a, a fragile lead that could quite easily change hands in, in the second. Uh, if you like your football unpredictable, I think you're at the right match. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Well, it seems like the perfect situation for Fortune favouring the Brave. 45 minutes to pack in enough risk-taking to... Shooting chance! Close gets rid without sophistication. Vinicius Junior tries to get it forward quickly. De Bruyne. Kyle Walker hoists it forward. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Benzema drives it forward, going through, and the flag has stayed down. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. Now a chance to break, and it's played forward. Nice little flick. He's left his man. Valverde gets good distance on it. Breaks on here. Back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Tony Kroos. Great run on the overlap here. It's a fine run and he's happy to keep going. Ball swung in. Cleared without complication. Defending of the desperate variety. Cuts it out. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority. Uh, a cause of mild frustration. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Tries to dink it in. Great leap! What a great header, got plenty on that. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Yes. 
Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt we'll be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Rodri. And here's Mares. Good challenge, he just stood firm. He's come loose, gets away from his opponent. Tony Kroos. Keeper's got good distance on that. And helps available out wide. Vinicius Junior. Oh, that's neat. That's a throw. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Tries a shot! Oh, that could cost him. Well, the level of urgency is shot up, and, and that's promising now to maintain it. Real Madrid are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. And here's Benzema. Benzema. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Phillips goes looking. Close tries to clear. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? <laughs> the changes then in quick succession. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. And it's been taken straight back. Finishing line very much in sight now. They have one foot in the final. Driving on a real charge here. Hit into the middle. And it's hoisted clear. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Has a hit! Great effort, but no way through. Kyle Walker hoists it forward. Well, that's where he wants it. Done very well to intervene. And it's played forward. <laughs> Lovely bit of skill. Chance for a cross, maybe now or never. Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. To throw. And he's there to hoof it away. Ake. So that's it. It is all over. They have made it and they've deserved to make it. A fabulous cup run has gone all the way to the final day. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Well, to go this far, it has to be on merit, with substance. And this is more evidence of a worthy contestant.